Welcome everyone, it's Vapors of Dracomar, and we're going into the depths of the day 121 mark of my sec of my first account. The very depths. The very depths of this. Okay, so this account, I take it, is far more crowded with crazies. Yep, with crazies and food. Hang on. Let's get some tag team done. Cause I I have to I have to try to get the Drexstar tokens assembled. Oh, you're not the only one who has an L Hane. This account happens to have an L Hane and happens to be a very fierce monster. Assuming she's running crit. Decrease your speed? No. What the heck game? Okay, I'll take it. Doing this all for a reason, though. Can you anyone guess what that reason might be? I'm thinking of putting this other gear on actual Argus because it might actually be really good. It was the Norog! I always wanted a Norog! Hey! He's the guy! The guy that is the, the ad! The guy's like, you take a turn, I take a turn. See your feet? See? It's not my turn. He's that guy! I always wanted him! I never... One day, Norog. One day, I will get you on my team. One day. I swear to you, I will have you on my team.
One day, Norag. One day you will be mine. This is also, remember how I said that I wanted, um, you see, yeah, ally protect would be huge on Virgus to have that ally protect. Like, it's almost worth stripping his own armor that he has right now and chucking that guardian armor on him. Just to provide that ally protect. This ally protect is so valuable. I can't, I can't stress that enough. I almost regret putting that on him. Just because of how valuable that, that armor is now I realize. Nearly. Oh! Oh! Gala with the plays! Gala! Gala with the plays, man! Gala, she's going in! Man, I love that champion. It's a pity almost no one owns her. I'm like one of the last Gala owners on the planet. Like one of the last ga Gala connoisseurs. gonna come back to life. Oh, he didn't. Okay. I thought for a second he was gonna come back to life. Because that, that thing has the notorious habit of doing that. I'll take it. Doom thing, but sure. I've seen that before in Doom Tower. Look at that damage. Did anyone see that damage? Fun. Bunch of revivers. Literally a bunch of revivers. Oh crap, I thought that was gonna one-shot me. Okay, first things first. Try to kill some of these revivers off. This is never going to end. This is never going to end at this rate. Okay, is he a reviver? Don't tell me he's a reviver. Okay, we won't have to find out. 
Oh, because imagine this was like, then he revived himself. Then he revived everything else for like four hours later. We're still not getting anywhere. Like I, I can I can I can see it now in my mind's eye. I can see him doing that. I'm not I'm not joking. I can see it happen. Wow, actually, he took the smack pretty well. He took the smack for the team. So that's why I have to put that on the Burgess. When I, when I get the chance and I get the silver, I should put that on the Burgess. A Suai Firstborn. I want that. Give me some of that action. Where'd you get that from? I want that. Give me that. A royal guard, even better. Give me that. I want that. No, 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 no. The game can't give me that. It has to give me something like a Manaya. Here's the weird thing about Manaya. She seems stupid and underpowered. But she's not as underpowered as you might think she is. That's the thing. Now this, I really want this. See this? Silla the Drakes thing? I really want that. But I don't know where the hell you get that. I mean, they're telling me it's from the 180 days. It'll take literally another 30 days for me to figure that out at least. Or more. This looks easier than the other one. Some of these look very unsavory. It's like, I don't want to work that hard. I don't hate how that is the literal. Please don't tell me that kills me. That's not too terrible. I was expecting that to be a lot worse than it actually was. It's still bad. But it's better than what it could be. Especially given that that's an Atchak. I think it's time to some anti heal on you. Even that shamanic lightning. Of course it has some kind of death denied passive. Of course it does. Uh 
Of course it does. What is going on? Uh, what is it with all the revives? Uh, Seriously, what the actual hell is this? That should help. Because that'll stop the healing. That'll stop the healing. The Naya, I think, is will help get this under control. Get the Elhane under control and get her out of here. Because surprisingly, Manaya is very strong, even at level 50. She's very strong. She just looks weak. She just looks weak. came for. So, if we beat this, I think we can buy the Drexthar Frag. Which is just as well, because I've been working like an absolute nut bar to get it. just as well. K damage with the shamanic lightning crit. <laughs> uh, and that's the shamanic lightning crit. That's not even. She's not even a damage champion. She's not even a damage champion. She's not even dressed in damage armor. <laughs> she doesn't even look savage either. She looks friendly. She doesn't look terrifying at all. <laughs> that shows you what appearances in this game mean. <laughs> Means BS. <laughs> Means nothing. She is a barbarian after all. Like a turvold. But you won't think that she's turvold because she's not scary. Yeah. That mending ways in there. Well, Gala died. That's not too surprising given the fact that she doesn't have the finest upgrades. Okay. 
Gonna have to life steal this back. Well, now it's just you guys and my campaign farmer. Yeah, that's right. Elhane is my campaign farmer. Sue me. I don't use Kale as my campaign farmer because I didn't give him all the masteries in this account. Like, I have a, a, him as a, my campaign farmer on my second account, Kale, but I don't have... This is the campaign farmer on this account. Alright, finally did it. And it's still another four hours before I can get the thing. Okay. A book, eh? Not bad. So... We were supposed to fight some campaign, some champagne. Um, who needs it the most? Probably the food, right? Yeah. I just don't want to, I, I want to put my boost on a day when I'm not feeling ill. Because the problem is, I've been feeling ill for a while. So, I don't want to like... Because yeah, the, the reason I did all that was because I wanted... When my Drexthar replenishes itself, I want to be ready. Still looking for War Maidens. War Maidens are terribly useful. Although I had to use my last War Maiden as fuel for Sathia Flame Tongue, but I regret nothing on that. Because again, Sathia Flame Tongue is like very rare our champion and is very powerful. And I'm still trying to upgrade and improve her. Um, it'll take some time. See, this is what I've been looking for on this stage this whole time anyway. Her. Her and shield guard. At least I had the fortune to do that. And at least when I need to buy the frag, I'll be able to do exactly what I just said. Buy the frag. Basically, what I use campaign for is I use campaign as a form of get me you know, levels of food. Because my biggest problem is a lot of my champions are still underfed. That's the thing. Upgrade my artifacts. Yeah, I do have to check my artifacts. The main problem I have right now is I can't really, in good conscience, equip... Uh, 
equip my high Katoon with anything less than 16 star artifacts. I mean 16, level 16 artifacts. Because she's my arena champion. If the artifact is not level 16, I cannot in good conscience equip her with it. That's the bitter truth of the matter. That is the bitter truth of the matter. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be farming regions. I'm going to farm the whole region and then move. That's going to be my uh, way of today. Yeah, in four hours, we will be able to collect our next Strict Star Fragment. But yes, I do need to collect Drug Star Fragments, if you're at all curious. This account in particular really needs it. Because it doesn't have the luck doesn't have the luck factor saving it, you know? If it had the luck factor, then great. But it doesn't have that, so it has to rely on other methods of getting champions. And Drekstar, it's not luck-based, it's... It's grind-based in a way. Although I did get Kale out of luck, which saved this account entirely. I still need to get better gear, but it saved the count nonetheless. Come on, Mr. Dragon, die, please. Whoa, okay, that's actually really good. Okay. It's so tempting to just buy a rank 5 chicken, honestly. Like, you... You, you, you don't really understand how tempting it is to buy chickens until you realize how phenomenally hard it is to get the champs to do it. And then, and then it sinks in. It sinks in. Because then you also have to sacrifice, you have to wreck, literally wreck the champions you're trying to, to make. Like, I don't know how to explain what that feels like. That you just put in, like, hours and hours of effort into creating one champion, you know? Only to have to blow it up later. I don't know how to explain what that feels like. Or why that feels like trash. But I'll, I, I'm going to tell you this. And I know this is going to sound bizarre. But believe me. It feels like trash. The sensation... The sensation of having... To level all of these champions up. Only to break them down. To upgrade one champion. That sensation. Gets to hurt. More and more as the game goes on. I can't even express to you. How much it eventually will hurt. But it hurts. Like I'm not going to do it. Because I'm. I'm committed to the free to play challenge but if I wasn't committed I would be strongly tempted I mean strongly tempted to buy the chickens because 
It's difficult. It really is. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I just... I don't know how to explain the feeling. It's like... You work for... Days and days at a time... To make this food. And... Set it all aside. I don't know how to explain that feeling. I really don't know how to explain the feeling. The quest for upgrading and... The quest for upgrading and, um... Leveling champions. I don't... Even if you're not going to go for new champions, even if you're only committed for upgrading champions, I don't know how to explain the sensation of the amount of effort it takes to even just... To even just, um... Get them up to par. It, it's really hard. And the lower... And, and here's the thing. Um, I don't know. It's, like, it's just really hard. It's it's kind of a marvel when you see people like level a champion really fast, because that means that they got around all the problems of doing that. Well, that's what that means. Now, if you're wondering why I'm even bothering to do this stage, in a word, to get Valerie. Because Valerie is actually a very powerful champion. Um, the AI will not lead you to believe this, but it is a truth. I mean, I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this because I know that I need the silver and I need to continue to try to seek for rank sixes. Because the rank sixes all have goals. Like, it's not just like they're idle. They, they have, like, purposes. Each one has its own divine purpose once you get it. But it's very hard to make one. To the point where it's like incredibly tempting to buy chickens. There's a reason. There's a reason why they have that chicken pack there. Because the people that really want to upgrade their champs and they're really sick of farming food, they'll see that they'll see that chicken pack. They'll see that chicken pack and they'll be like, yeah, just just give me. Give me, I'm sick of farming food. Just give me the chicken pack. I'll use my own money in, the, in place of it. I don't care about the new champions. I just want my six stars. That, that's what that's about. They don't, they just, they just want their champs up to par with levels so then they can focus on gear. And then they might buy gear sets. They'll buy the gear set and they'll buy the... They'll buy the gear set and they'll buy the the chicken pack and they'll ignore the shards entirely. I'm betting you there's players like that. I'm not going to be that player, but I am I am clearly thinking that there are some people like that. They just they want the gear set and they want the the chicken pack because they're sick of farming food and they're sick of looking for gear sets and then the game denies them the gear set. Cuz there's nothing worse feeling in this whole game. One of the worst feelings ever, besides bad shard pulls, is I want this gear set, and then the game doesn't give you the gear set. Like, I, I can't tell you that feeling. I 
can't explain that feeling. I can't. If you haven't played this game long enough, you won't know the feeling. You won't. You won't understand. You won't understand the, the need for better gear or the, the feeling that you get when you, you don't get good gear. But I assure you, once, once you truly get into this game, you will understand the pain of not having good gear and the pain of needing stupid amounts of rank 5 chickens. That's the truth of it. Is there, there is a, there is a cost. All right. Time to put some stuff to the test here. I'm gonna put her in to test it. Oh yes, this dreadfully familiar stage. You all know it. I all, we all know it. This stage has a very powerful faction known as Night Revenants. Some Night Revenants are incredibly powerful. Resolf the Grim is powerful. But like as always right now, I just it's very hard to allocate the resources to actually get all of it. Besides, Resolve the Grim isn't really my priority. I have other priorities. Fight you, smack you with that. Ooh, that resist. Did anyone see how I just resisted that and I didn't even need? I'm getting stronger, I swear. I swear I'm getting stronger. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first things first, before I end this episode off, because this has already been a long episode of me trying to upgrade stuff. Okay, first thing, do we have a... Of course we don't have a Barbarian Banner. Of course we don't. Of course that's part of why she's sucking. Of course we don't. And of course, Valerie has no upgrades on her gear. Of course she doesn't. All right, first things first. I'm gonna find some of this divine speed gear. and start upgrading it. Also, we need to start selling stuff that isn't good. Like one star gear. Yeah, how about that? I just realized, though, that my artifacts are about to top out. Alright. So, Divine Speed. Let's see if we can get this where I can need it. Alright. Oh, boy. It's that time again. The 
devastating time where I actually have to fight people in arena. Let's do it. It's that time again. That time has come again for me to fight this mode that sucks. Because fighting other players is really, really hard. Thankfully, this person's building is even worse than mine. Which I'm happy about because Arena's already frustrating enough. Of course! Of course you are alive. Of course you're alive somehow. Of course you are. Oh, freebies. Oh, Mr. Freebies. I want freebies. Give me some freebies. Let's just try this. This might be a disaster, but I don't care either way. Okay, it's a disaster. Or maybe not. It's like the second I see like the, them going off first, I'm like, yep, we're screwed. The reason I say that, let me ask, how is that? Most of the time, when they go first, whatever they did, just one shots you. That's the problem. It's this. It gets to the point where it's so volatile that whoever, whoever went first, was is the one that um, kills the other one. It literally gets to that point where basically whoever went first was the one that went that, that wins. Literally. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a gore grab. Oh, we're so close. I can smell it. I can smell it. Okay, um. Alright, these guys. I oh know they have a speed lane. I have to remember that guy's a speed lane. Because he, he. He. He, uh. Um, he's a speed lead just because he is. Don't ask me why. But I have to remember that he is one. Even though he doesn't look like one. He doesn't look like a speed lead. See, he has the beast escape. He doesn't look like one. But I assure you he is. Let's see. Let's try to get rid of this Grinner. Okay. I, I still need more revive champs on this account. This this account is woefully lacking in revive champs. Which is another reason why I want Arbiter, because that'll give me an automatic revive champ. Perfect. Give me the opportunity. The delicious Giblet's passive is annoying, but Virgus can resist all of it practically. And I never got that Dib Giblet's passive on my other one. Because, um. Why did I never get that? 
I never got it because of um I never ascended him enough. I never put like a stupid amount of effort into him. Okay, he can put it on himself. I did not know he could put it on himself. I'm learning more about this champ. Because here's the thing, I own one, but I never bothered to get him up to par because I thought he was trash. Well, not entirely trash, but semi-trash. I thought he was, like, not truly worth investing. It's not happening. It's fine. We're not killing him. Ooh, a Suai. I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. Anything to get this done, I'll take it. But I probably have to grind more. Like, I'm doing all this for a reason. I'm doing this for a reason. Ow. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, first things first. Get this guy out of here. That's the first step. give it a shot. I don't know what's going to happen, but we can give it a shot. And that's a bad sign. It's a bad sign, but it's not the end of the world. Wow. Okay. Well, at least you can you can tell how strong Virgus is defensively. At least you can figure that one out. The problem is they're gonna lock me out for so long that I'm probably gonna die anyway. Because the, the very fact that they have a net roll is ominous to me. Let's give it a shot. Again, we need we need to keep go trying to go. Okay, this seems to be the type of person like me that has a bunch of 60s, but has a bunch of other hidden issues in their team comp. So this this seems to be somebody very much like me. Yeah, yeah, they're much like me. This, this is this is the person just like me. This person. This person is just like me. Wow, I didn't even think anyone li would just like me in this world. But this, this is, this is an example of someone just like me with a slightly different team comp. There's a bunch of 60s, but has hidden issues in their team. But yeah, this, this is, this is an example. This right here of, of like insufficient gearing, you know, not that great gear. This person is just like me. 
just like me. That one. That one right there is, is just like me. Register what that means. Oh well. I think I can do this, but it might be close. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can't, but I want to remain optimistic. You always want to be optimistic in this game. At least we fought it to the bitter end. Let's give this a shot. Please tell me he's not a rezzer. Okay, he doesn't need to be a rezzer. Good to know. Apparently he just nukes everything. Good to know. to know. Cuz I've got I've got to keep trying. Cuz we are literally two medals off. Quite literally, two medals off. So I gotta keep trying until I hit one. Ooh, this is promising. Okay, good. Their gear is bad. Good. Okay, their gear isn't that good. There's some. There's. There's hope. There's hope. There is hope here. We have a hope. Somebody with weaknesses. It's possible. This isn't this isn't uh, this isn't over yet. The decrease speed. Yeah! Hey! 
Hey! Guess what this means? Hey! We can do it! Hey! Hey! Finally! Hey! And then I have to do that mission. We will be doing that later. And probably maybe the next episode.